Hell yeah, what's up guys? This is Cruz Pike. My friends call me Big C. Back in action today, I got a quick tip for you, and you're going to love it. Guys, I'm going to show you how to take any JPG or any PNG, basically any photo, convert it into a vector graphic. And to show you what I'm talking about, here you'll see up at the top here, I've got one called isao.png. I turned this image into this vector graphic, and better yet, I did it for free. Let me show you how. All right, so the first step is you want to go to adobe.com and use their express option. Link, of course, will be in the description below. And you'll see here it says convert a JPG to SVG for free online. This is not entirely accurate because it actually does more than it says. It actually does PNGs as well. So keep that in the back of your head. They over deliver. Yeah, it's pretty wild and it's free. So here we go. Next step here, click on upload your photo. And then it's going to open up this screen here. And now we're going to go select an image. So in this case, I'm going to go to my frequently used and I'm going to do this mascot logo. I'm going to open it for you so you can see it. We've got this basic mascot logo. It's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and cook that one up. So I'm just going to drag and drop it right there. And then you're going to see right here, it says vectorizing the image, refining the edges, etc., etc. And it's done, ready to download that fast. When I click download, you're going to notice here that when I go into my folder here and I click on it, and I'm going to open it. It is an SVG. So if I go to Adobe Illustrator and I drop this new mascot in, this is no longer a PNG. This is now a scalable vector graphic and it's got all the paths and compound paths and all that stuff that you could ever want. So if I was to go ahead and just start turning some of these things off, you'll see here that it made changes to the mascot. So there you go. We could even like, if you wanted to go in here and change the color of the eye, Go ahead. It's got a red eye right now, but maybe what if I wanted it to be, what color do you guys want it to be? Nice and dark blue, something like that. Okay, good. Now we've got a dark blue eye. Why is this interesting though? Because a lot of people are using AI to create images and logos and all those things. And while it's amazing, don't get me wrong, you don't always get what you want. You get like 98% of the way there. And then you're like, oh, this is really cool image. But what if they had red hair instead of purple hair? You can ask it to try and change it. So you can type something into Midjourney, but you can also just convert it like I just did there and do it yourself. So this is really, really cool stuff, especially for you AI types. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and close that up here and let's do one more here. Upload your photo. I'm gonna go through the same process. I'm gonna go into my finder. I'm gonna go into my frequently used and then I'm gonna grab that bulldog. This is just a uh, picture of a bulldog. It's kind of like an AI generated image in an artist uh, type style. It takes a little longer to do, but I've already gone ahead and cooked it. So when I go into Adobe Illustrator, you'll see here, right here, that this is the original version that I showed you earlier. And of course, you can go ahead and go in here and start turning things on and off. If I wanted to go ahead and let's say, change the color of this patch here, I could just grab my tool and just say, hey, it's right now it's set to black. Well, what if I set that to green? Presto. That even though it's ugly as all heck, that's how you know that this is a scalable vector graphic. This is an amazing tool, guys. Give it a shot. Links in the description below. Thanks for watching.